yeah. the full speed from it. Yeah, and so then he's just like way off screen, shining in place with the option to do a back air whenever he wants. And with so much space ahead of him, uh, and he's so far off stage, it's like super scary. So I always thought that was like a really fun little trick that he did. And we jump right into it. Mike Hayes able to pull off uh, a good little bit of percent here to start. Oh, forward throw re grab. Oof. This is, this is very rough to watch uh, early on here. Mike Hayes definitely one of those foxes who's really known for his punish game. Mm -hmm. He's uh, practiced his chain grabs oh, and tech that chains was a, and stuff. Wow. Showing off a little bit <laughs> with the angles. It's an interesting move though, right? Yeah. You have, you're a you're a fox trying to recover against another fox. You know what his options are. You're trying to read what he's doing. And all of a sudden, he just like jumps up and up and ups bees. Like, what's yeah. happening? What option do I pick? I actually didn't know that a fox could be grab ledge from any part from there. Yeah. Just going uh, straight down. Yeah, I definitely or like never the seen normal, it you know. Ooh, another grab. Let's see what Mike can find off this. Ooh, he accidentally gets the roll. Oh. Ooh, Indeed. saves himself with that side B. Short. Mm -hmm. He gets the back air. It does trade, so Tricleman can make it back. Ooh, nice air dodge by Tricleman. Uh, but the roll gets red, and the up smash is, uh, takes him out for a second stop. All right, Mike's uh, teleporting across stage. Ooh. Oh, hits, hits with the shine. Mike turning up the heat a little bit more. Ooh, nice dash dance grab, able to make his way around that nair. He's going to go for edge, but he realizes he's not quite fast enough, and rather than taking the hit, he uh, backs off and gives Tricleman the corner. Yeah, Mike's making him Tricleman work really hard right now. Yeah. He has a whole two stocks up. Ooh, he reads the uh, get up in place, but Tricleman rolls through it and is able to find the punish because of it. Up tilt, but he's at too high percent. No way to clean up. Oh, nice. And Mike's able to find another up air on the side platform. Punishes the miss tech. Mike really showing uh, why he's uh, so feared in the Fox Ditto. Mm -hmm. He gets a jab reset and then the double shine. And he takes him out. <laughs> okay, Mike. That's going to take game one. Mike showing Tricleman why he's ranked number six. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is a Mike Ditto, I just realized. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Both players, Mike Mike's. Uh, and and Tricleman is, is a Mike as well. Michael Tran. So we got the Fox Ditto and the Mike Ditto. Ooh. Okay. This is working out way better to start for Tricleman. Let's see if he can keep it going. Oh, here comes that chain grab we talked about. Ooh, Mike just late on that wave dash up tilt, giving Tricleman another chance, but he catches him back in it very quickly. Ooh, nice and shine back there. Yeah, with the turnaround too, making it just a little bit more tricky and giving him a bit, a much better punish and edge guard option out of it. Nice. Tracklin finds another grab, and he's able to follow it into an up smash. Going to take the first stop. So far, looking like this stage pick is working out quite well for him. Yeah, I was thinking that this might have not been a good choice for Tracklin, but uh, making me think otherwise now. I, th I would think that this stage Ooh. would be favored to Mike, uh -huh. Mike a little bit more, just because of how hard his punish game is. Yeah, for sure. Um, but it looks like Tracklin kind of said, listen, my case is a crazy punish game on any stage. This is my best punish stage, right. right? So he's trying to even the odds there, I think. And I, I, I like the idea. Oh, he gets another grab. Trackleman uh, flinches and shines just a little bit early, so Mike can just stand there and grab. Oh, nice up tilt. That should be a back air. Oh. And he grabs <laughs> the ledge with the down angle. So, uh, oh, Tragman able to get something started here. He could even it up with a good play here. Yeah, showing, showing us that he's got his own punish game, too. Unfortunately, Mike Hayes able to shine out. He gets the tech chase off of it into the big chain grab. Oh, misses ledge. Oh. I think if he grabbed ledge there, it would have set him up really nice for that edge guard, yeah. actually, because he could have uh, did it in the middle back air and covered a lot more options. Oh, Mike going for some stuff there. I like Before, the thought. Yeah, he's not able to jump out in time, but he's able to clean up the stock anyway. Uh, after a, a really good showing of those first stock and a half by Trackleman, uh, Mike Hayes kind of cleans things up and makes it a lot harder. And another chain grab opportunity. This could just be a, another zero to death. I thought it was about to do a down throw there. I like the option to go for the back throw there, knowing that if Trackleman uh, were to, if he did up throw, Trackleman could just uh, DI straight. Mm -hmm. And then on the up tilt, he could DI far out and then have yeah. an easy way back. Um, so an interesting choice to back throw him and get the tech chase instead. Oh, that down air. Trackman wanted to get the kill, and he's able to find it. 
Trekman sitting at 100%, really not looking optimal to be uh, doing a comeback right here, especially on FD, where uh, Mike can probably mm. just grab up there up there. Yeah, and that up smash almost connected, would have definitely been the game. Um, luckily, Trugman's able to jump out in time. That up tilt almost killed. Surprised about that. Mm. And the back air is going to clean it up. Mike Hayes looking strong yeah, that right was a, there. That was a really strong showing by Mike, actually.